Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Today we're going to look at a package I just received in the mail from eBay. And it's some more constitutional silver, or junk silver. Uh, I got it for a really good deal. It's kind of a surprise. Usually eBay is pretty overpriced, in my opinion, on most stuff. But like I've heard people say, you know, sometimes you just bid, you bid, you bid, and uh, you win one out of 30 auctions, and this happened to be that one. So let's go ahead and take a look. This thing cut open. Hopefully, I'm not going to cut into anything. I tend to do that once in a while. But uh, we'll get in there and see what we have. And pack and slip, which we'll pull out over here. Let's get it out of here. Something here. Okay, so here we go. 350 dimes and 60 dimes. Pretty well packaged. I mean, for you know, junk silver, constitutional silver, it's all you really need to do. Of course, I'll go through and count it, make sure they're all there. Let's go ahead and uh, open them up and just see uh, if they're all uh, rosies or mercs or what we have. After that video that the bean counter posted, uh, I think it was just yesterday, about the Mercs actually weighing less, and uh, you actually pay a premium for them, it made me wonder uh, why. I mean, actually, we're just in it for the silver, and if it weighs more, then I think that's what we would want, is the uh, Roosevelt's. So go ahead and put these out. Get that out of the way. Let's move this up a little bit. Move my camera down a little bit. There we go. So let's take a look. Looks like they're all Roosevelt's. All in pretty good shape. Don't see any slicks. A lot of times you don't see slicks with Roosevelt's. I uh, don't know why. Because um, some of them have been in circulation, it seems like, for a while. But uh, it's a nice little pile. I'll take that. Let me move these over a little bit. Of course, it's not easy on this plastic mat, so I'm going to count these, and uh, I'm sure they're all there. If not, I'm sure it was inadvertent, but still, got to make sure at the, you know, buck plus a piece that you get what you ordered. And let's take a look at these as well. So I ordered the, I won two different auctions on, uh, on eBay, but because they were the same seller, you shipped them just both to me in the same package. Probably saved him maybe just a few cents. I don't know. Hope so. They were free shipping on one of them and a few bucks on the other one. So over here, this is a nice package. We have 350 dimes. Let's take a look at these. I already notice a mark in there. Cool. And uh, all appear to be in pretty good shape couple little tattered ones in here but you're gonna get that when you order quantities like this and uh, that's okay this is just part of the uh, junk silver collection constitutional silver collection couple mercs there and uh, so I have a total of 410 dimes that would be $41 face and I uh, got a good deal, as I mentioned earlier, on eBay. I actually paid the low spot for them, which is pretty hard to do. But uh, I did, and uh, pretty happy about that. Now, most of you who watch my videos know who Big Stack McGee is. And actually, Big Stack's uh, kind of encouraged me to do something that he's doing. He's taking his constitutional silver, he's putting it in tubes, and then putting it in guardhouse boxes. So before I would leave all my constitutional silver in a pile with quarters, 50 cent pieces, it's all mixed in, kind of play with it, leave it in a bowl or something. I was like, huh, maybe I should start packaging it up and knowing where we're at. So in a later video, I'll record another video after I get all this, uh, you know, 
put into tubes, but I just want to show you, and it's pretty heavy already. I'm starting to fill up my tubes into this box. This box holds 50 of them, and uh, working on filling it up, and that's quite a challenge. It would take quite a bit of money to do that. And so when I record my next video, I'll open this up and show you how many tubes I have and how many tubes we're going to put into it after we get all these put in tubes. Okay, so we're back after I got all these dimes packaged in the tubes. You can see here I've got eight tubes and I ended up with 16 extra. So the gentleman from eBay must have sent me a few extra because there should have been 410 in there. Ended up with 416. So I appreciate that and I'll let them know that with some comments uh, from the auction. But anyway, as I talked about before, I was inspired by a YouTuber named Big Stack McGee. Big Stack, I appreciate the videos and uh, given the idea of taking the constitutional silver, putting it in tubes and trying to fill a box. It's a great goal to have, gives you something to work for. And uh, so that's what I started doing. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the suggestion. So as I showed in my earlier video, I do have one of the guardhouse dime boxes. I think it's guardhouse. It might be a off brand, but uh, we'll go ahead and open it and see what's in there. And then uh, I'll add these eight additional tubes to it. And I'll take the uh, 16 and, you know, get another one started. But for now, we'll get those out of the way and let's get these out of the way. Only so much real estate on this uh, video cam screen. So here's my box. Let's go ahead and open it up. You can see the all the dirt on it from touching those dirty coins. In fact, I just went and washed my hands after putting everything in the tubes because my hands are so dirty. Don't like to think what that dirt's from. But anyway, let's take a look and see what we have. Ah, look at this. So right now. I've got this box half full, two, four, five, two, four, five. The reason I've got these two blanks in here is because I ordered some dimes from Provident Metals. And I haven't posted the video yet because I was pretty upset when I recorded it. They sent me some pretty bad constitutional silver. I mean, the stuff was really nasty. And, you know, they tried to claim, well, it's constitutional silver. It's junk silver. It's not supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be junk. And as you can see, I'm very familiar with constitutional silver and what it's like. And I just think that they honestly tried to pawn off some bad stuff on me. So anyway, I gave them a chance to uh, take it back. So I sent it in for an exchange. And um, they are planning to exchange it for me and send it back. So I'm waiting for that. So I'm just kind of using two tubes here as a placeholder because I know I have those uh, 100 dimes. But anyway, what a great start, huh? And uh, let's go ahead and put in these other eight that I just filled up and um, see what that looks like. And I've got 16. I actually have a few more laying around, so I've probably got about half a tube worth already working on that. So that leaves us with... 5, 10, 15, 17 tubes left to get this box full. Now, that's a lot. And uh, it takes a lot of money to get, as you guys know, to get a tube of uh, dimes. But, uh, you know, spot has just been so low. And as of today, it's $14.80. That it's really hard to uh, not go get some when you can find some. And I would say maybe not the first couple of these because I didn't know... Uh, you know, much back when I was buying some of the stuff a few years ago. But I'd say everything since, like from here over, has all been bought for under spot. And uh, as you guys know, you silver stackers know, it always makes you feel really good to find stuff under spot. And even the quarters I picked up today from the coin show, picked them up for under spot. So that's pretty good. And if you can do it, you should buy it. And that's why this stuff's filled up so much lately is because of the under spot pricing and uh, I believe uh, even as Big Stack uh, says in his videos you know just wait for the right deals wait for the good deals and that's what I do and when I find them I capitalize on them and so uh, it does take money but uh, you're just moving it from one bucket to another in my opinion and so that's it I just wanted to show you my box of uh, dimes and where I'm at with it and thanks again Big Stack for 
uh, get me motivated to do something and uh, give me focus to collect and uh, continue to do so and probably not at the rampant pace I've been doing lately but uh, I'm going to continue on and uh, here in a few minutes while I was at the coin show today I bought the uh, quarter version of the guard house box and uh, now this box will not be nearly as full as this one I don't have that many quarters uh, probably less than two rows but again motivates me to get it filled up and keep it going Thanks everyone. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let's keep talking bullion.